Hey guys, welcome to a new YouTube video. Today we are in Build Boat today, and we have a new thing that I created. This is a robot, and we are in a public server, and I, this is my new robot that is somehow 100% completely original and mobile friendly. So let me just show you how it works. So, cameras, you can move. I made a little playground for it. I'm not really good at explaining things. But you can use... You have to use plastic because that's an easy way to balance it. You will need scale. I need to be good at building stuff or whatever. And here we have the cannon. Let me just show you what this does. It's probably obvious by now. Yes, I, I have to turn down my volume wall. So me and my friend are building this, and it's powered by magnets. As you see, it went flying. There it is. So I'm going to show you the mechanics and how to build it to reload. So it looks pretty complex, but it really isn't. First, build up three blocks, and this will have to be anchored. Then you want to start designing your character will look like. So what I like to do is the chair, hit, jump, and now we're locked in. And we cannot move. Grab plastic. And measure out your legs. You will need to use scale zero for this. Turn that to red. Continue measuring. It's like it looking good. That's good enough. So we need to make this thinner like that. You see, there's a little space still. But I'm just gonna leave it purple in the meantime because this will be a template. You can color anything you want. If you wanna make a noob, it's pretty basic. Next, build on it one block with one zero point five. And switch to zero point five for that. Do that basically, and I'll scale up once. And here we have 
to a place a hinge. I don't know why I did it. It really doesn't matter, but you want it to be better and teleport because it can. I also want to put it on two and there. Yes, I made the avatar right away. <laughs> So what I like to do is put the wool apart. And like that. and scale to zero and move it a little. And if you want, this one looks good. You better be following my directions. <laughs> yeah, you have that side. How I made the arms was Did this me? It looks like one of those me things. I know. And then you only take out skill and do 0 0.5 again. Skill out both sides and place a hinge on each, facing the designated side for the arms. So here are the arms. You, I'd say, would want to delete these and replace blocks on them. I don't know, that's just what I did. You scale your arms like you want them to be. They didn't have to be even. It's just the front and back we have to worry about because they have to be perfectly balanced. Of course, this does not arrive perfectly. It's like it's all good. What I like to do is make sure this part is covered up. That's how I design my thick man. I'm not saying all this has to be purple. I'm just making it purple. Because I can. And here we have the neck. I do exactly what we've been doing this whole time. Oops. <laughs> I'm gonna have to remove that heart. No, let's not. Just an honorable mistake. So place a hinge like we've been doing with the arms. For this to be easier, you might want measure two.
like that. That's perfect. You don't have to add eyes or anything. You can. Okay, so then you'll need to place wood right here. And it will need to go through. The body. Right now. We only have that because we need to place the boat motor. I forget where the boat motor is, and that's pretty funny, ain't it? Didn't you move to one and place it right there? So at the right place. Should be up by the head a little more. Sorry about the technical difficulties. Here we go. Now you scale this through. You will need to place servo upside down, right there, or we'll need to move this a little more so you can actually place the servo on it. I'm sorry if I'm stuttering a lot, it's because I just watched something on the horror game that I love. I don't like that good, but there we go. Now we just have to uh, make it reverse rotation on. Change your thing to 20 and change this to green. May. Then you'll need another boat motor, as you see. Some parts are in, not unneedable, like the username, but I just put it there. And you might want to place a camera so it's easier to drive. Oops. need to be perfectly placed like I did it. Now you will need more wood. Change it to 0 0.2. Which like that. Place down here. No will need to be that much space between your legs. And the gold. Place the gold. Copy these hands measurements. Ten to eight. At least have it balanced. Not too much to the front. Not too much to the back. I'm pretty sure that's it. Just gotta test all of this out. Who plays a chair? An anchor it. 
you'll need to make collision off on some parts. Right. Maybe leaning at some points. Like it is right now. Probably like, because there's too much weight at the front. So you may want to measure it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And you'll need to make sure this weight is balanced. Otherwise it does not work. But then I will see you in another video. Goodbye. <laughs> Just to show you uh, what I did here. I'm proud of it. Just today I spent a few moments... Making hot dog stands and I wrote 69 on the dollar bill. <laughs>